Hello everybody, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Today I want to talk about Twin Flame weddings. Because I know a couple of Twin Flame couples who've got married recently, Michaela and Jose, um, Charles and Oceana. If you would like to watch the weddings, you can go to the Church of Union YouTube channel and check them out. And these weddings came about as the culmination of a lot of mastery. It shows commitment to their path and to their union. Marriage changes your union. It becomes a tighter container for your love. Marriage is a natural progress progression of your union. It enables you to go deeper into your love and your intimacy. Your vows add an extra level of commitment recognised by the world. This is a way of healing separation. <clears throat> it's so different to the old way of marriage. It's the solution to all problems, grounding into the new vision for the new world. It's so meaningful. The two of you is what really matters, the marriage. But whatever vision you have in your heart for your wedding, follow that. It took a lot of hard work and dedication on the part of the happy couples to come to this point. It brings calm, ease, peace. The divine is good. That's who's making this happen, bringing you together. You're already doing it together. This is for you too. You're one with that too. The promise of dreams is that they come true, as I said in my last talk. As each harmonious union and twin flame marriage happens, it opens the gate further for subsequent ones. Your participation is really important working on your beingness, healing layers of fear, separation and upset. You're manifesting heaven on earth which, with each upset that you work through, coming closer to your twin flame, having gratitude for where you're going, fulfilling your own and the divine's function on earth. The, these weddings were uh, victories for all. Love will bring you through. Love is enough. We become a bright light for the world. Focus on becoming that who we really are inside, and the divine handles the rest. Every time you feel guided to do something that may seem a little bit daft, ask yourself, are you partnering with the divine here? I know another twin flame couple who broke the ice by him sending her an inappropriate and slightly offensive meme, and as a result, they're also married now too. The expression of self is all you need to concern yourself with. Whatever you're doing, express yourself completely. You have no say over how it will be received, only that you express yourself. It's the only choice you have. Give your gift. If you're doing some noteworthy project, ignore that little voice that tells you that you should be doing some equally noteworthy project in the next room. Do what you're called to do in the moment. You don't have to be doing the best thing all the time. Just because you can do the high thing, it doesn't mean you always have to be doing it. It's like enjoying fine dining once in a while. Such is a child of the universe. You have a vast array of gifts. Practicing these gifts when together, you'll be stoked in the ecstasy and privilege of being next to your twin flame. It stokes your union and your love for each other. A gift, say for... Music starts in the heart. It doesn't mean you have to express it if you have that gift, but just do it when you're called to. Then again, it may be something that's not for right now, but showing you some blocks to heal through. It's an expression of the self, full stop. You may be called to make computer games or to invest in yourself. That way, you don't have to judge yourself for whatever you're called to do unconditionally accept and love yourself it's very vulnerable to express yourself be yourself and be that be that love the direct divine directs your gifts it's okay to love the way that you're called to and in my case it's through music at the moment maybe you can see that area 51 love is coming in the form of hardcore techno for me right now, whatever form it takes for you is perfect for you. Creativity is the highest joy. Loving others through it, offering healing. 
when you heal someone just a little bit in this way you've brought a little piece of heaven on earth purify the consciousness of humanity a little bit it doesn't matter who's there the only choice you have is are you going to love here express yourself in a state of love this is the awakening process are you an expression of divine will or the egos the more willing you are to be with love and deal with triggers the more saintly you become and the more able you are to be in uncomfortable situations and love anyway and the faster you're awakening value peace and harmony over drama <clears throat> but if you find yourself in drama you have to deal with it follow your divine guidance and the way will be perfect in every moment overthinking about what we should be doing causes a lot of stress don't worry if you think things should look different to how they are follow your bliss unfailingly and what more is there to expect but joy in the pursuit of joy and joy at the end of joy this is the point of the hero's journey follow your bliss and we no longer question why we're here and we no longer experience depression hold steadfast to following your bliss and joy and know why you're here and nothing can take you away from that you're doing a great job be proud of how far you've come allow yourself to give yourself the healing that you embraced and offer it to others the divine thinks you're doing a good job sometimes we don't allow ourselves to think that validate yourself you deserve it feel your feelings relax ground in some more you don't need fine to have fine dining or listen to sermons 24 7 <clears throat> you have everything you need right now the divine provides for you so you may continue on your path of joy surrendering it to the divine is key let the divine direct you relaxing into peace and rest all your good rushing towards you just as you desire it to all the all the darkness has is its dumb little chatterbox don't feed it you're never alone you never will be you never need to be alone practice self-acceptance whatever you do it's important to all that's why the divine asks you to do it you're serving the divine you're allowing her to direct your talents following your bliss know that you're worthy of your joy and follow that joy everyone has their own function and purpose you can move forward as slow or as fast as you like if you choose to move fast that way is very effective for melting the blocks to becoming aware of your harmonious twin flame union but you also need the stability to ensure your sustainable success and growth relax ground your foundation ground in your union ground in your marriage it's okay if it takes a while even if you've chosen the fast track fast track out of hell the boot camp out of the old mindset into the new mindset at some point you won't be able to relax you want to be able to relax going through a crisis is okay when you want to destroy blocks at a head exploding rate but having done it this way for some time it's paved the way to allow the seeds to grow there'll always be something to do but you can relax ground and mature you want to build a life that's peaceful and prosperous people feel extreme urgency at the start of their journey for harmonious union because of the pain of separation but doing it full speed isn't really the way we are equipped to handle it explode into it but most people don't really want that all the time it's a journey of self-discovery one day at a time you don't have to go through the crazy bullshit if you feel like it if you feel like it like you won't get it together soon you'll die and be prepared to smash through the blocks being highly motivated to heal till it's fully healed that's okay but it's also okay to calm down chill out you need to be consistent at it every day you know how your life goes you don't have to tear your way through it you can chip away at it it will build a lot of confidence honor where you're at don't judge it if you want to grow expand explode all over your life take it to the next level by all means but with stability you know what it takes 
of you and from there you can refine it and it requires less of you but if you want to give it more you can so yeah there's as for, you can't control the pace which your journey occurs you can't control how fast your union comes in it's always the divine perfect most compassionate place the divine sets that pace for you I mean, you can choose for it to go a little bit faster, but then you'll have more stuff come up to work through and gets more intense. But you can choose to slow it down a little bit. Yeah, do what feels good for you. And on that note, I'm going to end this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like buttons and subscribe if you did enjoy it and you haven't already and you haven't already done so and I will see you in the next video bye bye